don't know how I do. I, I thug it out. So let's go ahead and get to the comments. So what do we have? Say Tori Blue, a loyal fan, says on the Botany Book beat. This is really good, by the way, Chad. You've been on point. I have, right? He said, uh, I like to get drunk and high and play your music and pretend I'm in my spaceship. I love hearing shit like that. You guys are going to be... You guys are going to have a treat later on because I'm doing some crazy producing. I'm not I'm not putting it all out right now because I'm, I'm saving beats for the Robot Music 9003. So I, I ain't trying to put a lot of them out, out yet. Some of them are already out because I'm going to go back and use some beats that I haven't used yet. But I'm, I'm just, spoiler alert, Robot Music 9003 is going to have a lot of beats that you just haven't heard. Like, it's new production and I'm telling you, I got some, <laughs> I got some cool shit in the chamber, man. I'm just telling you, I've been on my shit. Botany book is just, just a taste. That's like, that's a, <laughs> that was just something for the fans. But uh, I appreciate that, say Tory Blue. Puppet Master says, uh, oh yeah, I did a poll with Chad Marco Divergen. He said, uh, Puppet Master Reloaded says, pay escort, just escort Max. But I did a whole thing on why I wouldn't pay for sex um like i said before it's not really the money it's more so the principle of it i'm just i'm not interested in having sex with somebody who doesn't want to have sex with me if you got to pay for it that means they don't want to fuck you that means they don't like you if you don't want to fuck me if you don't like me i don't want to fuck you i ain't paying for it <laughs> So DGNR8 says on the chat, Marco reads Chainsaw Man for the first time video. How many calories do you eat a day? <laughs> I thought he was going to say something about Chainsaw Man, but um, I don't count calories. Um, I don't count calories. I probably should, but, but I don't really count calories. Um, my main thing is keeping my sh my sugar intake low. That's really my main focus. I don't concern myself too much with calories, although I should, like I said, but my focus is mainly on the sugar. I'm I'm crazy about the sugar because I, I have a sweet tooth, so I have to watch that. So um, when I go in the store and I'm buying stuff, I go straight for the, 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 the sugar um numbers on the back of the package i'm always looking for the amount of sugar like oh man for like just real quick man you guys know little baby the rapper he has a a drink out in one of the stores in my local area the rosa store and i think it's called ooey or owie or something like that so I pick it up. I'm like, oh, that's cool. You know, little baby got his own drink. He know he, he got he got he, 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 look, that, that's major, making major moves and shit. So I pick it up. I look at the back. That shit got like 73 grams of sugar, or like 80, like something like 70 to 80 grams of sugar, bro. Like, and this is just a, a regular. This ain't some big drink. This is like a regular, like soda soda bottle, regular single person size soda soda bottle amount of, of drink and it's like 70 to 80 grams of sugar in it that's that's pretty much three days worth of sugar right there so that's what i look out for sugar, sugar is my main concern i'm not diabetic or anything but that's my main concern is just watching out for the sugar i don't worry about the calories as much but sugar i try to keep that control i try to keep my because i do have a sweet tooth so i have to really pay attention to that so say tori blue says on never chase first first goes hard i left this high two days ago and didn't remember and when i read this comment i agreed with myself that was on the sad um ep you would say or the mixtape, whatever you want to call it, that I put out several years ago. Um, kind of underrated work of mine. The standout to me is Forever Alone. Make sure you check out the SAD <laughs> mixtape. But yeah, Never Chase 2 was a good one. How did it go? Uh, I promise to never chase a bitch again. Yeah, that was serious though. I ain't doing that shit no more. <laughs> so 
Resared said on the Chad Marco Reed Chainsaw Man for the first time video, are you still on 4chan? I stopped browsing that place a long time ago. <laughs> then Nuts Cheese says you made it. And then Flim says, Keck, I still go there every now and then. I don't go there as much as I used to. But um, I still go there. Yeah. Um, the boards I frequent the most are probably the animal board. Rest in peace, friend. <laughs> um, R9K and video game retro um used to be in the poll a while ago i go to poll when i want to find interesting news articles that you might not find in the mainstream um news outlets and just to see the the hilarious like hard right side of politics and whatnot it's the also every now and then gif if i'm looking for like a quick fab i don't want to go into my my porn folder but uh, yeah i still go to every now and then but not as much um i'm on twitter more nowadays a lot of youtube um but yeah I, i'm just i'm trying to i'm trying to diversify as far as like the websites i go to because it's not much i can do on on 4chan as far as promoting myself except shilling you know so so Hellbreaker says on the drowning beat, your beats give me some vibes of Kaiba the Revenge and Joey the Passion OST games I used to play as a young ninja. I have no idea what that is, but I appreciate that. I'm glad that I have my own unique vibe with my beats. So Eric Williams says on the Nightwall vlog, should you tell girls you are a virgin? Under no circumstances should you tell a girl you're a virgin. They all want men that other women want. Unless you're super duper religious, it won't pass the smell test. And even if you're religious, you might not get a pass. So he's right. Don't get me wrong. He's right. But if you watch the video, you know my you know the point that I made about this though. In my opinion, whether or not you do is, is up to you. Me, I would do it because I think that it's bad to, I think it's bad to want to have sex so bad that you're afraid to tell a girl something about yourself. I believe that it sets a bad precedent when you begin an interaction with a girl based on, okay, I got to hide certain things about myself or she is not going to like me. Because I believe that once you start off like that, you're starting off on the wrong foot. You want her too bad if you're willing to lie or you're concerned about how she will feel about anything about you. I get it. I get it. Everybody's not like me. Everybody's not trying to die a virgin. Everybody's not trying to, to be a 30 year old virgin and be, I get it. So uh, again, I'm just my perspective, my opinion, the more logical thing to do, of course, is to not, I get it. The more logical I'm trying to get, I'm look, I'm trying to get pussy nigga thing to do is to not say it, but me, I'm kind of extreme with this shit and I'm just, I'm not with the lion. I'm not with the being scared. Oh, what's she going to think if I say this? Or th I, I don't think that's a good way to deal with women because you're basically expressing a, a certain amount of, of really pedestalizing her when you do stuff like that. You know, I'm so afraid of what she's going to think that, you know, I'll lie. I'll conceal things about myself. I don't think that's healthy, but, but. The reality is, like you said, girls are harsh. <laughs> they are harsh and they all want men that other. That's just facts. They don't want most women don't want to be the guy, uh, the, the girl. Um, they don't want to be the one. Uh, they don't want to be your first time. They don't want to show you how to satisfy a woman. They want to be taken and ravished on day one. <laughs> so. Blau Fernandez says on the No Singles Allowed 2 video, the Joker review, um, I knew this movie review would be somewhere in your video catalog. Glad I was able to find it. And he also says on the No Singles Allowed song, just realized this is the scene where Shinji goes to a movie theater alone and sees a couple making out. Excellent touch, Mr. Marco. Hey, man, I'm all about the feels. I know my shit when it comes to this. Don't get it twisted. So Y2, YK2K says on a Hajime no Ippo anime review, 
I see a one hour plus review on the Hajime no Ippo, I subscribe. Thank you so much. Somebody that appreciates my anime reviews. I always, because, you know, those don't get a lot of views and I don't mind, but I always get excited when people like the way I review anime because I don't do quick five, 10 minute reviews. I go in, man. I go in, I, I go in on, on the plot the characters and what i like about it and whatnot i try not to spoil it too much but yeah i go in and i think uh i think it's very cool when someone appreciates the way that i do it so dark magician shit says on the how to be a neat episode zero neat goat i'd be interested in your backstory on how you got in this situation i would love to tell you guys just um that would be a great topic for the podcast so yeah shit but I plan on doing all those personal stories, you know, in, in due time. Don't worry. You are, you're going to get the full <laughs> the full life story of Chad Marco just over time. Kind of like how I talked about my experience with the cocaine addicted stepfather or step nigga, as I like to say. Um, we're going to go in depth. Even today, like this whole episode was about, you know, going into sexuality and whatnot. Like I'm an open book. So I love talking about different parts of my life and how I got here and how I did that. So I would love to go into like how I transitioned from school to neat and how all that was, even though I've talked about it quite a bit, but now I think uh, I could really lay it out for you guys in an interesting way. And so Dark Magician says on the tale of Chad Marco's biggest crush, <laughs> Um, he says that means that the one you liked had noticed you if anything maybe she put her friend up to asking you about yourself since she might have had a crush on you but thought you were interested in her since you were too scared to make a move on her first of all look i was not scared don't get it twisted i was not scared don't put that on me i knew that i didn't have a chance or i believed, and i believe to this day i didn't have a chance But other than that, so what I was saying was, you guys know there was the cashier girl that did like me and asked me for my number and whatnot. And you know, I, I didn't I didn't pull the trigger because she was dating my friend, you know, that, that whole story. She was working with the girl that I had this big crush on. Now, because she kind of showed up towards the end of that girl working there. And so she had told me that she asked the girl that I liked about me. And she told her about me that she noticed me and whatnot. And that's cool, right? She obviously noticed me. But that doesn't mean that she that she liked me, you know? But it's nice to think that maybe she did, <laughs> right? It, it's, it, it does feel good to think that maybe maybe she did like me and I just didn't take advantage. Man, oh God, don't don't, don't start there. <laughs> don't, don't even start there, man. Oh God, because uh, if, if she liked me and, and I, I didn't, I didn't go for it. Mm. <laughs> That would kind of break my heart a little bit. I'd be sad for for just a little while. I put it like that. I'd be sad for a little while. It's easier to think that she didn't like me, and I didn't have a chance. But that man, I swear to this day, I've never liked the girl as much as I liked her. I mean, just um, it seems kind of silly to say that because I didn't know much about her personality. But physically, physically, I just I felt an attraction to her like i like just none other man like it was just i i really i just i really just like that girl i'm telling you, she had a fat ass she was cute she was feminine it was just ah <sighs> yeah <laughs> let's move on so dark magician says should you uh on the should you tell girls you are a virgin video i can understand your logic on this but to me, it's not about putting a woman on a pedestal. It's more about me not being obligated to tell a woman personal information like that the first time I meet them. 
they're not going to tell us how many dudes they have been with some of them have probably been piped down before the date and still try to present themselves like they're worth your time don't fall for the okie doke i see where he's coming from but don't don't get me wrong i'm not saying it as if you're obligated to tell them it really is none of her business anymore like you said then it's our business to know, to know her body count you don't tell her because you have to it's a shit test telling telling a girl you're a virgin is like a male shit test because it's a way to gauge her interest now i'm speaking from my own personal view here but I don't want to deal with a woman who has low interest. I want a girl who is very attracted to me. I want a girl who I want a girl who is going to accept me inside and out, up, down, left, right, diagonally. So me telling a girl I'm a virgin is not out of an, a, a, a weird sense of obligation. That's not the case. I'm telling her because I'm trying to gauge her interest. If I tell her and she cuts me off she loses interest that means that she never had high interest in the first place if a girl is going to turn you down because you are a virgin then she obviously is not highly interested in you if that's all it takes then her interest in you is lukewarm at best or is based on a fantasy of who she thank you of who she believes you to be and so that's why i would do it i'm not I wouldn't tell him because I feel like I must or it's my responsibility. I'm testing this bitch. <laughs> I'm testing it. I'm trying to see, okay, how much do you like me? Do you like me enough to look past the fact that I'm a virgin? Right? That's that's why I would do it. So Zero Point says on the Is Mate Tower Coat video, it started as a coat for me. Then I experienced a bit of dating and realized the mate towels were right all along. I could date with enough effort, but I'd rather spend those efforts on more important endeavors. Ain't it the truth? I mean, you can't say it much better than that. I could date with it. That, that, that's me. I could, I could, I could do it, right? I could date with enough effort, but I'd rather spend those efforts on those efforts on more important endeavors but again like i said man this shit is it's, it's sad it, it's it's sad that this is where we are we should not this this should not be the state of, of affairs for, for people to feel like dating isn't worth it i mean whether you agree or disagree this is just what it there are a lot of people who feel like this and i, I think it's really sad but that's just where we are now it's just, it's too many negative examples of relationships and 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 too many toxic people it's just it's too much bullshit out there man and it's again it's damn it's just damn i'm damn right now <laughs> so Bilal says on the should you tell girls you are a virgin video this is popular huh Bilal fernandez says not even going to watch this video the answer is simple hell no <laughs> and then rap shout says fair point good fellow however i would like to delve deeper into chad marco's mindset about this and his opinions on this matter with him being so experienced in this matter well i, I broke i broke it down pretty much um oh yeah but he uh, he's saying that he's gonna watch the video because he wants to know what like what my opinion is. that's the whole point though Blau. <laughs> but um look don't listen to me <laughs> i'm crazy <laughs> don't listen don't listen to me i'm i'm at stream look I, okay i'm not crazy but i'm at stream with this shit this this ver like i i took this whole virgin thing too far <laughs> and i'll admit it you don't have to be like me you don't have to be like me, but it was important to me. It was important to me to be able to do stuff like this, because if I can't, if I can't be myself, if I'm afraid to be myself in front of a woman, if I'm afraid to say, look, this is who I am then I would have dishonored myself. I can't live like that. I can't live afraid. I can't walk scared 
of, of who I am. I can't walk around scared of the fact that I'm a virgin and what people are going to think about it. I can't do that. That, that that's why that's why I do shit like this because otherwise that's fear you're you're holding fear inside of you when you live like that when you're a, when you're afraid of what she's gonna think if she finds out you're a virgin you're that's fear that's just lingering inside of your soul you might not see it you might not sense it but it's dead when you cling to shit like that it lingers it festers that's why i let all of that shit go i that's why some of my ideas might seem extreme or crazy but that's because it's just it's so important for me not to hold on to these negative feelings and that's my mindset <laughs> that's that's my mindset on it i'm not crazy i'm just i'm just, i go to these extremes but it's all for a good it's all for a good cause it's all so i can be myself and so i can be free and so i cannot live in fear of what people think about me so i cannot live in fear of what a girl is going to think about me so Bilal says on the cowboy bebop anime review the real folk blues is one of the best anime outros it has a nostalgic vibe to it almost like revisiting the past and seeing all of your past life events, that outro is like the French kiss for every episode. That's why Cowboy Bebop is a masterpiece. I couldn't have said it better myself loud. Cowboy Bebop, the anime, of course, is one of the best. I mean, that's, to me, in my opinion, Cowboy Bebop, top five anime, easy, easy. If anyone says best anime ever, GOAT, number one, no complaints, no arguments, no debates. Cow I mean, we all know the, the greatness of Cowboy Bebop. It's not overrated. Fuck you. I know what you're saying. <laughs> I, I see you. I, I hear you. Take your ass to the back of the bus because I'm not hearing it. Cowboy Bebop is amazing. We all know that. But that opening and the outro, the OP and ED... Oh, God. Legendary. Legendary, man. You know, there are certain anime where when you're binge watching it or just watching it over the course of a couple days, weeks, whatever the case may be, you watch the OP the first time maybe the second time then you start skipping it so you could just get straight to it cowboy bebop that's one you got to watch it every time the op and the ed that's one every time it like the the op the op sets up every episode perfectly and like blau says the ed is the french kiss the perfect finale for every episode and that's just what it is man <laughs> 